Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Come here, Shalala. Koholoim la, Yehawa, Bahashim, Yehawa Shai, Bahashim, Rekha HaKadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwap that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Awap just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Now, this article I mainly was kind of doing because of the comments, the comment board. And to show the wickedness of Babylon the Great, the wickedness of the thinking pattern of the people of the United States and anybody that has, had has ever, you know, taken on their blueprint as a city or a country or government, their democracy. But the people of America, this is the Babylon the Great. All the nations of the world are pretty much drinking of this wine. Maybe one or two, three or four have not. But they're still wicked as well, you know what I'm saying? Because they're just heathen. But this right here will show you just exactly how wicked America is, man. And they call themselves a Christian um, um, nation or country. So this is in the crime area. Uh, New York Post. It says, South Carolina cop demoted for using city cameras to track wife. He's suspected of cheating with fellow officer, right? A snooping, they say a snooping <laughs> South Carolina police officer was knocked down in rank for using a local citywide camera to spy on his wife, who he suspected was cheating on him with his colleague. Crazy, bro. What, I, you know, what did you invite him over to? You know, a, a family barbecue one weekend, you know, a kid soccer game or, you know, something, you know. And this is why the apostles always talks about not being around another man's woman or another man's wife. We're, we're, you know, being into this truth, I don't need to know what your wife looked like. You don't need to be showing her to me. I shouldn't see her at camp. Deal with your woman the way that you deal with your woman. You know, your household the way that you deal with your household. And I shouldn't, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, I, I shouldn't know of your your spouse like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, nothing wrong with greeting if you, you know, hey, this is my wife, whatever, you know, but I wouldn't want to, I'm not trying to show up at your house and be around your wife like that or anything like that. When it comes to this truth, men can link up. We can set the table. We can bring out the scriptures. We can, you know, cook some food in a, in a manly setting and let the women do a womanly setting if they're going to do it that way. You know, if they're into this truth. And they're teaching the proper way for a woman to be teaching. Because a woman is not supposed to be usurping authority over a man. She's not supposed to be teaching a man. Especially a man that's not her husband. If she's going to be teaching a man, it should be uh, uh, her, 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 her sons. Other than that, Apostle Paul, he said that, um, you know, the women should keep silent in the church, churches. And if they're going to learn anything, let them learn from their husbands. And especially in this damn time, you go around another brother's woman and she's bouncing around you with her ass cheeks out like it's nothing. That's generally today's way of doing things like it's nothing. You know, that shouldn't be you shouldn't you shouldn't be in that position. You don't want to be eyeballing her because that even goes off into adultery, committing adultery as far as eyeballing a, a, another man's woman. That, 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 that shouldn't be. And brothers, that's into this truth. You should know better than to bring your women around, especially if you know she's she's half ass dressed. Leave her at. You shouldn't even be dealing with her really in reality. But I mean, you know, I know brothers coming to this truth and their woman may not convert. And the scripture says that if she or he. Are willing to be with you. When you come into this truth. If they just like, hey, well, you know, still, I love him or I love her. You're not to get rid of them. You're not to get rid of your wife. You'll cause her to commit adultery. You know, you don't want to get rid of her. If she's willing to stick with you, because um, now. From my understanding with IUIC. You get six months 
If that spouse doesn't convert, you got to get rid of them. That's not scriptural. You brothers can't just get rid of your woman, man, unless she commits adultery. That's something different. But to because she didn't come into the truth with you and she's not calling on you, how about she may shy with you? You can't just get rid of her, man. If she don't want to leave, she's, you know, she's still doing what she do for you. Hell, there's some of these women out here that don't even believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh They won't even go into the scriptures. I won't even acknowledge this whole thing that'll treat a man better than a woman that's actually into this truth. So think about that for a second. So I just wanted to just touch on that real quick. But let's read a little bit more. Now, here's the guy right here. We don't know if he's an Edomite or if he's an um, a, a Israelite. In today's time, you would look at him, you would be like, oh, that's an Edomite. Because he looks like a so-called white man. But you can't get twisted with that. You can't go too far into that because there are Israelites that look exactly like this man. So if you get to talking down on somebody like this, you will never know if you're talking down on um, one of the little ones of the flock, man. This guy could very well be very well be an um, Israelite. So let me bring that out. It's not a color thing. The seed line goes to the father. If you come from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, then you are an Israelite. You come from Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, you're a damn Edomite. Now, if this guy's an Edomite, he's going into slavery. If his wife is an Edomite, they're going into slavery in the, in, in the kingdom, man. But anyway, let's get a little bit. Got to straighten a couple things out. Now, what he done, hey, there's, there's scripture that talks about the law of jealousy. There are actual scriptures where it talks about the law. There's a jealousy law in the Bible. Now, in America, they say, oh, he's insecure. No, there's a jealousy um, um, trigger that's just in men. You women think that y'all are the only ones that can be like, he, he doing, he, I know he doing something. You know, the men really actually have that, that mechanism. Women kind of really just running out of impulse. Men actually really kind of had that. Now, something not right about this, bitch, you know. But that is lawful. You bring your woman before the priest, you know, the elders. You know, there's a whole process that goes with that. Whole process that goes with that. You can look up the jealousy law. But I really wanted to just keep it to the point of reading a couple of the comments. And just to just show you how wicked this place is. And how the people are actually. Now he's on a job. Should he be using the cameras like that? Yeah, nah. Because I can also go off into the fact that, okay, what are you really watching? Who are you really watching? And how often are you really picking up on people's locations if you're able to zoom in on your woman everywhere? But let's let's get a little bit of it. Show you, you know, Esau, he want to be all-knowing. You know, um, he sets his nest above the stars. You know, he's all out in the galaxies using his damn satellites with a damn camera on every street pole in, in America. Every street light, they all off the freeways. They using ring cameras. They looking at everybody through your, your damn camera on your phone. This is the so-called white man. So I wanted to point that out specifically because he is the one that's really, that's got that God complex, the wicked. He's the wicked of the earth trying to be as if he's godly. So I wanted to bring that out too. Okay, but let's see. This is the guy's name, Ryan Terrell, a former North um a former North Charleston police department lieutenant abused his power to track down his wife on at least three occasions before he unearthed the alleged affair in a Target parking lot. According to reports from the South Carolina Criminal Justice Academy, notice of disciplinary action obtained by WCSG. All right. And you know, the, that's where you get that Freedom of Information Act. You have to go... Esau would go that far to tell a story. Because you think that this would be something on the news. One of our officers done this. We're transparent. He's using the company camera, so to speak, to track down citizens. Because his wife is a citizen. Even though that is his wife. Down to a parking lot in Target. Or down Walmart or something. So just think like him running into you in interaction with you. On the street, he picks up your license plate number. He's able to get your, you know, 
address. He's zooming in, Googling, or satelliting in on your house. He's watching when you leave work. He's watching where you're going. He's watching your every move. And he can just show up and just really get you if he wants to. And we're going to go further into this to show you that. this is The reason why I'm thinking this is a Needamite, because of the punishment that he got. Right? Terrell's clandestine behavior was revealed after he alleged threatened to harm a sergeant suspected of having a romantic relationship with his wife. Right? Terrell had caught wind of his wife's alleged illicit relationship earlier that day. He then aired his anger to several of his colleagues, right? So he had the job, he had the police station going in, who reported him to the Office of Professional Standards after they became concerned, he may follow through with his apparent threat. So you already know Esau, you got all kinds of um, situations with Esau shooting up schools. They'll shoot up a Walmart. They'll shoot up a concert. All these mass shootings. Generally, when you hear mass shootings, you, you generally typically think of, um, you know, the so-called white race. So he's already in the police department with a gun on his waist, taser, spray pepper spray whole nine and he's making threats because he got that jealousy of one of these sergeants possibly messing with his woman right that'll send a nigga over the top man and he saw them be playing that shit jake don't be playing no man be playing this i don't care what nation of man it is the lord inherently places that that trigger within a man of jealousy there's a law on them. I'm telling you, it's a law on jealousy, man. It says he then aired his anger to several of his colleagues. Okay, all right, we just got that. The allegations of violence led officials to investigate Terrell. So he ready to whoop some ass and probably, ain't no telling what he was saying. Ain't no telling what he was saying. But after investigators interviewed Terrell, his wife and the sergeant, it was deemed to be an empty threat. During the probe, however, Terrell admitted he admitted he told his wife he'd go to jail if he if he caught her doing some bullshit. Right. Here's the camera right here. too. They got a camera right here. Terrell used the camera to spy on his wife after suspecting her cheating on him. NCPD. The dubious cop fessed up to using the part on cameras around the city to tell his wife. So just think about Esau telling you jake if he can do that from the police station you don't think that the so-called white man is zooming in on their on you niggas probably a lot of the times and you know they got cameras on a lot of these cop cars and you know the the little camera that they wear on their chest that ain't got nothing to do on do with um the real cameras that they got because see like here in michigan or detroit we got what they call um green light so you'll see a green light flash at a gas station or a store or a business. And what's going on with that green light, there's a live feed that's feeding to the police station. So everybody walk in, everybody walk out, license plates, whatever. They can zoom in on, um, you know, your pocket, you know, your hand. They can zoom in on a phone call if you got your um your, your um device open enough for them to see. You know, if you're not kind of folding it towards you, if you're not on a Bluetooth. They can actually shit listen in on your shit too. You know, so this is Esau, man. Matter of fact, let me let me see something real quick. I remember some of the stores they was fussing and fighting because um the city was trying to make these stores pay for the system. I think the system was like six to ten thousand dollars, and they're like, well, hey, shit, we just a store, we just trying to do business. So Esau, he, he, this motherfucker been reckless, and they got the um the gunshotter, um 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 indicators too that they spent millions of dollars on recently. They already had them, but they was trying to re up, and then they had like um you know it was mistaken identity with certain um cameras and stuff like that. They was picking up people that wasn't really the the victim or the the um you know the criminal. They was able to prove through time card. They were to prove. That, oh, no, I was here at that particular time. What are you talking about? So the facial recognition being, you know, kind of 
So Esau is just all over the place with this stuff, man. You got AI and all this different shit. So I'm just going to put in green like Detroit. I only got a fucking map. Let's see. Project Greenlight map. Oh, so they got an actual... Well, the city of Detroit... They, well, that is city information. But they got a map of where all this shit is at. And what they do is... Esau, he tries to make it seem as if, you know... You're going to be safe. Everything is going to be um, okay. Um, we're going to put these in your neighborhoods. We're going to watch you too. Well, we're going to watch you. And you know, a lot of the elderly, they kind of go for this because, you know, they're elderly, of course. They don't want to be robbed and stolen from, of course. But, you, um, you know, you think that, okay, if you just have the regular police officers out here and they're doing their patrols. Because they done slacked off on all that. The manpower is not what it used to be. They're using surveillance as their manpower i think more police officer cars rolling and seeing the presence of them would deter a lot more things that's going on but but, but you know i don't want to really go into this but look at all these dots this is all over detroit so every street that i ride up in in detroit they all in dearborn mainly all these these super duper dots that you see right here this is all detroit right here And it's only Detroit. That's the crazy part. It stopped when they go to the white people neighborhood. Ain't that something? I never even noticed that. Look, all this right here. This whole area right here. This is all Negroes. All Negro area. They'll come down here into Dearborn a little bit because they know um, Negroes venture out that way a little bit to do business. But look at this shit. This is all Wayne County. All those little bitty dots that you see, that's a green light, that's a camera giving live feed everywhere. So you think like, how are motherfuckers getting away with crime? How? When you got cameras everywhere like this. It was a lady. This was like last summer. What a uh, matter of fact, maybe like a summer before last. McDonald's right up the street from me. Matter of fact, let me see. This area. Well, I ain't gonna go into the area. Anyway, it was a lady. She got raped in the middle of the street at like one o'clock in the afternoon, right in front of a damn man, right in the middle of an intersection. Everybody was kind of rolling through, laughing, whatever the case. The guy ended up, you know, um, you know, deleting her. And then all of a sudden, you know, the police show up. Y'all, y'all not seeing this um happening real time. I get it. We're okay. We need some, some, some um time to get there. But the way that they was, you know, wording that story, it wasn't like they was, you know, trying to get there like that because people was calling. But look at all these dots. So the point that I wanted to make is this is Project Green Light Map. I can put in my zip code up here and I and I can actually zero down to where they are. But I, I pass by these places all the time. I don't stop at the stores. I don't stop where there's a green light. I don't want to be recorded. I don't mind going off into a regular store because, you know, it's all about the spirit and power of you. How about Shimmy Abbasad that you're going to be safe anyway? Project Green, like white people watching cameras, it's not going to um, save your ass. They just getting funding and money out of, uh, out of this shit. Anyway, let's go back into this article. This guy was able to track his woman down to a damn target at, from the police station. Terrell claimed he only did so because he was concerned for his wife's safety. Of course, he wasn't concerned with that. Was safety from him? According to the um, disciplinary action report. However, further analysis by investigators show he excessively used the camera to spy on her. So this is for you people. Hey, we've seen it. This ain't the first time this done happened before. We've seen plenty of situations. You don't think, man, the average, these motherfuckers, man, will pull up. It's nothing for them to pull up, man. Throw your. What do you think they're doing when they're putting your license plate number in the in the computer when they're sitting in the car? What do you think is going on? They're able to pick up on that. They're able to pick up on your mama, your relatives. Look, I used to work at a um a spot in New York. I'm not going to say where I worked at. All right, just me as a regular citizen. Worked in this place. And, you know, 
it was a place where you know you you getting something, you put down you know some references, um you know somebody's gonna vouch for you, is this person good for this? You know what I'm saying? Loan or whatever, whatever. And that computer system, once they put them names in, because that that cosigner so to speak got to come through with that that um that driver's license or some type of ID, official ID, and it goes into the system. But within the computer system, me as a regular citizen, I could pull up that whole shit and look at her or him, their address, whoever the co-signers was, their addresses, so I can try and possibly get up with them, you know, because they might have defaulted on the loan. And I was I literally, I, I got access to a computer where I'm looking all across the whole city. Anybody that had a last name like theirs. Their affiliates. They ain't even had to have came in and co sign nothing. All I had to do was look at a last name somewhere around the region because it's going to connect you with that person, that person with that person because everything is interconnected in a database. You might text your cousin, you know, or text your wife or husband or your mom or your dad and they able to they link that shit up, man. So be careful. I mean, it, it's really at a point of. The data has already been collected. And it's really going to go to that MOTB, that market of beauty and the beast. All this stuff is inner, um, connected, man. That Revelation 12 and 13, where no man might buy or sell unless he have the mark. This is what this is really all leading up to. This type of information. Where they can zoom in on your ass no matter where. And matter of fact, I'm telling you, with them zoom cameras that's on people's houses. They can actually zoom in off a house on a camera and watch you. Literally. They don't have to, they don't need no warrant. They can go directly to Amazon and any of these other companies. If you're using their product, you may not see in a small print that they're, you know, they're able to say, well, you know, law enforcement may be able to tap into your, you might as well get a dog, get you a dog that'll bark. I don't give a fuck if it's a small ass beagle. Get you a dog, get a bark, get you a fence. <laughs> you know, and keep your little 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 shit safe, you know. But if you get in these people's camera systems, just know that you you're tapping in, they're tapping in. They're really tapping into you. Just because you can look from your phone and a motion sensor goes off. Oh, the mailman is at the door. Amazon package has been dropped off. An alert go off, like, what the fuck is that? Who is that? What is that? Oh, damn, I was a squirrel. Hey, look, that shit is nothing, man. But this man, he's spying. Why? Because, matter of fact, I know I've been talking, roughly paraphrasing scripture, but let's get this right here real quick. This Esau right here for you, man. This man got um, um, shit all out in space, man. Satellites and shit in space. Second Thessalonians 2. Let me get verse 3. Start there. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. This is what you're witnessing. The man of sin, the son of perdition. The falling away first was us falling away from our heritage. That's why generally all this shit is set up in, in our neighborhoods. I just gave you the map. They're not out in Esau's neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? Because they got people patrolling. But at the same time, too, they're, you know, they're they're caught up in their safety as well. They'll set their own um, camera systems up. They're not going to predatorially um, um, engage with them like how they do in the neighborhoods. Like, oh, well, you got a crime rate. The crime rate over here says this and, and, and people are doing this. And let us put our cameras on your house. Motherfuckers got listening to you. Don't know if the listening device listening in on your ass. The shit is now um, hooked and, and tethered to your phones and your your tablets. Scripture says to never trust thine enemy. You don't trust Esau, man. Right? But verse four it says, "Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God." Isn't the Lord omnipotent? Doesn't the Lord watch everything? Isn't the Lord all-knowing? Well, here you go. You got the so-called white man. He's trying to replicate that. That's why he's all out in space. 
He's all seeing. He's got cameras on everything. He's listening in on everything. He don't have it like, you know, of course he can't do what the Lord does, but he wants to replicate the Lord. Yeah, how about Shimei man? That's why the scripture says to never trust thine enemy. Everybody around me got them bullshit ass cameras, man. I don't need no fucking camera. You know, you know, we do the regular thing thing. But I already know, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably I'm being watched and looked in on, you know, even with the neighbors and shit. But it is what it is, man. We can't get around it. And it's not nothing that you're going to be able to get away from because this is something that's coming future wise real soon where the, the mark of the beauty and the beast, I would call it. Revelation 13 and 16 again, where they're going to want to put those very cameras in your ass. I'll put it that way. Right. And you won't notice some of this stuff because see, here's one right here. Terrell had easy access to the devices since he oversaw the city's camera system. His doofy ass. He just gave himself away. He was also removed from the position as the camera systems overseer. And had his access to technology stripped away. The officer was then busted down to a patrol division. They didn't fire him. They they just shot him down. You know what I'm saying? Gabe? He's still pay, He's still getting paid. I, I'm willing to bet you with his demotion. I bet you they didn't demote his pay. I bet you that. Terrell's career in criminal justice field started in the U.S. Navy as a master at arms. Before he left the service and became a corrections officer at the Charleston County Detention Center, according to his link in. OK, so he's been with this. Um, He's been with that police part um, department since 2008. Right. So if he still got his job, this is what made me think that he was a need of Mike. Psalm 60. You got to read the spirit. Seventy three. Let me start at verse 3. Let me highlight all this here. I want to go to like verse 8. Highlight all of it. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. See? That's why I'm thinking like, oh yeah, this is need of my you Had that been a Negro? And he was spying on a so-called white officer or even a so-called black officer in a Target parking lot from what camera, what angle. They would have fired his ass and they would have arrested his ass and brought his ass up on charges. This guy, he gets to, you know what I'm saying? He, he's just demoted. He'll probably get his little, you know, little, little shit back, you know, within a few months or whatever. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness, and they have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. That's, this is why I'm thinking this is a Needamite. See? Now, we, we, we don't look at people and, and, and get to saying what they are. Because this guy, he could very well be an Israelite. But from the situation... The spirit of this article. Them only giving him that little slap on the wrist. This is what so-called white people do for so-called white people. Now, the comments is what I really wanted to go into. I don't want to keep it long. Now, somebody did say, how's about the sergeant? He allegedly committed adultery. When he met this woman, was he on duty in a patrol car or in uniform? Is he also married? Goes both ways. Now, the only reason I can say, well, how he met this man's wife. Is he had to be invited somewhere where this man was off duty or he invited this man to his house or home or beach or picnic or whatever the fuck off duty. I don't think that they would have just met, you know, or unless he was a partner, the partner pulling up, you know. It's kind of like that one that one movie with uh damn what's the movie with Bruce Willis and um I think Damon Wayans where Damon Wayans I think was a a, a football star or some shit like that and, and um there's that scene where Bruce Willis he came home and the guy so he was in the closet 
but he already knew he was ready to shoot into the closet. I don't know if y'all know the, the name of that um, movie. Uh, damn, what the fuck is the name of that movie? Anyway. But this person says, exactly. Another person says, not illegal, probably unethical, but she doesn't seem to work there, right? My sentiments, exactly. So let's get a little further. Here's where it's going to get grimy, where you can see the real mindset of these these damn um, Americans, these Babylonians. Let me let this ice cream truck pass real quick, Salakia. This person right here, Mark Pringle, says doing too much. I'm not going through all that. He looked a little out of shape, probably short dicking. I'm just saying sex is important in any relationship more than folks give it credit for. You got a next person agreeing with him. Yep. Another person agreeing with him. Yep. Lack of his lead to many. Lack of lack of. OK, lack of rod or what they call dick has led to many and cheating of fair whether they want to admit it or not see look at where we're going here's another person agreeing mark said it out loud if she's not getting satisfied at home a woman can and will seek others to fulfill her needs i'm not saying she doesn't love him Oh, bitch, you don't let... Fuck out of here. You don't love a, a, a man if you're stepping out on him. Get the fuck out of here. That's that's the biggest hatred ever, man. She probably does. No, the fuck she don't. But that will not stop her from cheating. Now, this is just the first couple of comments, right? This, you know... They're justifying her. Cheating with a man at her husband's job. Where there's supposed to be loyalty because, you know, we talk about a police officer's job or a police station is kind of like. They don't protect you like the military, but it's like a military setting like, bro, this is my bro. We protect and save each other. There's no man left on the field. We ain't leaving nobody behind. And it's kind of like that, you know, that 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 set up camarader camaraderie from pronouncing that right. 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 So I'm thinking maybe possibly this this dude probably then invited this guy over to his house. They had a picnic, whatever the case may be. You know how that shit go. Goddamn um, um, league baseball game or some silly shit. Here's another one um, comment. This proves that surveillance in law enforcement works. But yet when someone wants the cameras. Off. They're not working. Bullshit. It's about the good cops turning in the bad cops. He should be fired. Period. That's a work issue. Keep your personal life separate from work. But the nigga is at work with you. So, you know, fuck you mean separate. It's not separate because the motherfucker that's supposed to be banging my wife down is at work with me. So, you know, that's going to spill over. So I don't understand this person's um, comment. It's work stuff. This person commented on a comment. It's work stuff. Because he's married and she committed a crime. Okay, yep, there you go. Somebody with some sense. This person asked him, what's the crime? See? The person came back and says, infidelity, duh. They are married. Were you born yesterday? So these are probably like, you know, um, people that, they're probably Christians, you know, that believe in white Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And, um got somewhat of what they think are morals they just don't know the true name of the father Yahweh or the true name of his son Yahweh Shai you know they just you know thinking like oh well we're Christians you know that's not right because inherently a lot of people they know that that shit not right especially our people Jake so called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans they know shit like this is not right okay so now this person comes back and says and these are women jo um, Judy Page M.I.O. Consenting adults should not lose their jobs if there are no work violations versus personal matters. It may be in poor taste, but unfortunately, people fall in and out of love all the time. All right. Next person says, what happened to this co-worker? 
that was running around with his wife. He is the one that should be punished. And you know how he should be punished? The way that the scripture says he should be punished. And I'm going to keep it classy. He should be put to death to go along with that bitch. That's scriptural. And a lot of these people, they'll tell you they, they're um, Christians, man. This person says, um, you know, laughing out loud, stupid. You're stupid, basically, for saying that. Another person comes along and says, if he were in the military, he would have been. Yeah, in the military, they generally don't play that shit in the military. This person says, never seek because you may find what you are looking for. Hey, but that's that jealousy spirit. No, it, that jealousy spirit, it'll send you into seeking. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Somebody say cops are losers. This person says, well, stupid, didn't you just fuck up? Now she will leave you for making her look like a hoe. Well, if she was dealing with the with the dude, she is a damn hoe. Right? This person says she was, and it's a chick too, looking like. Little donkey face. Yeah, you damn, you know. She got tired of trying to find his neck during foreplay. See? They trying to make it seem like, okay, he's a big guy. You know, she might have not been able to find his rod. And that's justifiable for her to go out and do what she was doing. This person says, what an asshole. And he's just the one who got caught. These abuses of power happen all the time with these clowns. Yeah, he, he shouldn't have been doing what he was doing. But why is he the asshole? You know what I'm saying? Because he found, <laughs> he, he, he tracked his wife down doing the bullshit. Next person says, loser. This person says she belongs to the force. I guess they was like, she belongs to the streets, you know. <laughs> Another person said he's a loser. What a loser. Somebody said, why is it wrong for him to find out the truth when our government spies on us every day? Citizens under the P Patriot Act every day without pr prosecution. Yeah, they are spying on your ass. Everywhere you drive, even in your car, your phone. Yeah, your ass is, everything is being loaded up in, in data. All they need to do is just, you know, get the sufficient warrant and, and get your phone details. This person said it right. Hell, let, let him go. He was tracking the center and busted her on it. This person says, that's stalking, ain't it? <laughs> This person says, hey, he got his answer. I don't care how he got the info. This person says, lose some weight. Grow some hair. Buy a Peter pump. <laughs> she may stay whole. Then he came back with another one and said, what's the big deal? She'll come back home to heal up after getting a royal stretching. Incredible, bro. But you can kind of see there, there were people that were, you know, in disagreements. Majority was, you know, in agreement with, you know, basically, you know, why is he even mad, so to speak? Why? And I'm, and, and you know, you know, like I said, I roughly paraphrase the scriptures. We already know the judgments. If you don't believe me, you can look them up. Judgments on a woman stepping out on her man, a man dealing with a woman stepping out on her man. That's deletion of both of them in the scriptures, man. But again, Esau, he wants to be all knowing as well. I wanted to bring that second portion or the first portion out because, you know, you got the so-called white man. He's got the capability of watching and looking at everybody. And he's looking in on his wife while he's at work. Zooming in on poles, street lights. He following her ass all through the city. He's, 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 you know, checking in on the camera over here at the motherfucking, um, yoga shop, Starbucks, McDonald's. He probably was following, ain't no telling how long he was, um, he, he's, and she at damn Target parking lot where all the cameras are at. 
You doing anything at Target or Walmart, you a damn fool anyway. If you do, if you doing anything and you even ride by one of them, you a damn fool. Your motherfuckers got a million cameras. They got cameras everywhere. Everywhere. You not about to ride by one of them boys. Hey, Walmart probably got a better um, camera system than um, the U.S. of A. Um, um, in general. FBI, CIA, I don't give a fuck who you talking about. You ride by one of them bitches. You best believe. I don't care how far out you might be. You can be three miles, four miles, five miles away from a Walmart. And a camera probably can pick up on your ass, man. So... It is what it is. We know what it is. But, you know, they all talking about, you know, the brother, <laughs> you know, he needs to lose some weight. Yeah, he could hit the gym. You know, these police departments, they be having some gyms and stuff. This guy shouldn't be this out of shape as a police officer, you ask me. But still, you can't justify his wife cheating on him with a sergeant, bro. I think they said, what's he, a sergeant? A sergeant, let me see. If I'm not mistaken, they said a sergeant. Yep. A sergeant, bro. That's a higher up, man. When you, you know, you go higher up, you're supposed to have a lot more integrity. I could see a rookie coming in and he's doing some bullshit. He's just, you know, in a patrol car trying to see how fast he go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to ride through the hood and show everybody I got my, 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 my badge and shit. You know that type of shit. You know, um... Some old street level shit, some training day, Denzel Washington type shit. Them old ass, what was that? Colors with iced tea. Do you remember? That's a classic too. Sean Penn. I think Sean Penn was in that. You know, you get those movies like that with the rookie. Okay, the rookie. All right, rookie. All right. But a sergeant? Bro, you a sergeant and you dealing with one of your colleagues' wife, man. Your, your ass is supposed to be put down. He gets to keep his job. And probably going to get promoted. And think about all the snickers, man. The laughter. You probably hear about another portion of this story where some shit really happens. Or some shit really goes down, man. Because men, I'm telling you, that jealousy spirit is not... That's a big thing among men, man. As a matter of fact, let me get one more. Um, it's in... Proverbs, I'm not mistaken here. Yep, six. See, and matter of fact, you see it right here. I didn't want to go into this because, you know, that would be another lesson. But Numbers 5 and 15. This is that law that I was talking about, the jealousy law. Right? And it's actually called that. Let me see. Let me start at verse 11. Numbers 5 and 11. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, If any man's wife go aside, that means if she, she's, you know, you know she's she doing some shit she ain't supposed to be doing, and commit a, tres, a trespass against them. That's a trespass against a man. When a woman steps out on her husband, that's a real trespass. You're not going to see a law where if a man... Um, 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 trespasses against his wife because a man can have multiple wives in the scriptures. A woman can't have multiple husbands. That's just the way that the Lord set it up. You can get mad all you want. You can try and do what you want. And if you try and go against it, you're just going to be fighting against the Lord. So take it up with him, right? And a man lie with her carnally. Let me start that back from the top again. I probably should read it. Let me read it in the NLT so it'll just be plain. The New Living Translation. Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. Suppose a man's wife goes astray and she is unfaithful to her husband and has sex with another man, but neither her husband nor anyone else knows about it. She has defiled herself, even though there's no, there was no witness and she was not caught in the act, right? If her husband becomes jealous, here you go, and is suspicious of his wife and needs to know whether or not she has defiled herself. Cause 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 men can you can fucking tell, bro. What the fuck is going on? Why she acting like that? I come home, you know, she used to be 
on me, hugging me, asking me how my day was, this, 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 and this. We didn't have no arguments. We didn't have no fights. I didn't do anything other than I was done yesterday. Why all of a sudden I'm not getting attention? A damn day go by, a week go by, a month go by. He's going to eventually be like, you know, the interest is not there no more. What's, you know, that's when that shit going to pop in. Like, is she fucking with somebody else? Sooner or later, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Sooner or later, it's going to click in on that guy. Like, what is going on? Because a man can tell when his attention is being, you know, deleted or depleted. And, and, and a woman is acting differently. If the Lord just charged us like that. He gave us that. You can't get around it. He gave us that. And the Lord came up with a law for this. Right? Let's, 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 verse 14. If her husband becomes jealous and is suspicious, his wife need, and is suspicious of his wife and needs to know whether or not she has defiled herself, because really that's what she's doing. She's defiling herself. These days, she can defile herself and bring a disease back to a man. See if a man, if he say if a man got three women, I'm just gonna put it that way, three women. He's sleeping with those three women and those three women alone. And none of them ever had nothing, never got nothing. You know, you can go to the doctors. We all had checkups, whatever. Those three women. He's going into all three women raw. No rubbers, no condoms, whatever you want to call them. If he was to just, you know, just have sex with those three women, there would never be a disease if they're not doing anything. If he comes across another woman, you know what I'm saying, and he finds her to be a, because things went as, a, as, as virginhood. Women were virgins. It's not like today she done slept with 20, 30 niggas. We talking about ancient days. A dude come across a woman, she's a virgin. She breaks her hymen. The marriage goes down, you know what I'm saying, where they will put the token or the cloth underneath the woman. And, you know, you can see that her blood was broken and that blood would be on that token. Her parents would gather it up, fold it up and put it away as a token. That would be the father's job mainly over the household to look after that. And that goes off into Joseph and Mary as well. That's another lesson. But that would generally be the thing. All three of his women would be virgins. He popped them. The blood was put out on, on, on each one of them's um, um, garment of token, tokens garments rather. Now, if there's a disease coming to play, he, he ended up having sex with one of the three wives. And all of a sudden he gets an itch. But before he gets that itch, he done already slept with his other two wives. All of them got the itch. One of them bitches is out there doing something. If all of them were virgins, if all his women are virgins. I'm not talking about uh, in an ancient world, a man had three women and all of them is on the streets like how these bitches is on the streets today. If you get what I'm saying, right? So now let's 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 go on into it. Verse 15, the husband must bring his wife to the priest. He must also bring an offering of two quarts of barley flour to be presented on her behalf. Do not mix it with olive oil or frankincense for for it is a jealousy offering, an offering to prove whether or not she is guilty. And you don't think the Lord know? You don't think that the Lord is not going to show the men of the Lord, the priest? The priest will then present her to the, to stand trial before the Lord. You think anything can slip past the Lord? None of you niggas is slicker than the Lord, man. You're not going to pull nothing on the Lord. How you, you women, you sneaky as fuck. You going out doing all manner of bullshit, you know? I'm going to wait till this nigga go to work. I already got this plan. I got this. I got this, that, that, and the going out. You're not slipping none of that shit past the Lord. The Lord created you and he knows your every move because he's all seeing and all knowing. He must take some holy water in a clay jar and pour it into dust. He has taken from the tabernacle floor. When the priest has presented the woman before the Lord, he must unbind her hair and place her in hands. The offerings of proof, the jealousy offering to determine whether her husband's suspicions are justified. The priest will stand before her holding the jar of bitter water that brings a curse to those who are guilty. Ooh. 
The priest would then put the woman under the oath and say to her, If no other man has had sex with you, and you have not gone astray and defiled yourself while under your husband's authority, may you be immune from this effects of the bitter water that brings a curse on you. But if you have gone astray by being unfaithful to your husband and have defiled yourself by having sex with another man, at this point the priest must put the woman under oath by saying, May the people know that the Lord's curse is upon you when he makes you infertile, causing your womb to shrivel and your abdomen to swell. Whew. Ugly. So the Lord make you look like you're pregnant and you're not. All the days of your life overall, too. And that's a serious offense, man. But I just wanted to just touch on that. Um, there was that other one in Proverbs. Is that Proverbs 6 and 34, I think it was. I can grab that and end out. But this is the world that you're living in where you see those comments where everybody is just like, hee, 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 you know, giggling and cackling and shit. But if that were to happen to them, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Because this nigga's out here laying pipe. Got pipe to lay. And a woman will still step out on him. Hey, a woman will leave your ass. I don't give a fuck how much pipe you laying or how good you laying it down. If your ass ain't got no money and she come across another motherfucker that do, she'll leave your ass. She might slip back to you <laughs> to get piped down again. But if that man got more money than you, she's slipping back to the man that's got the money. Verse, um, let me get uh, Proverbs 6. Oh man, let me. I gotta start up a little bit. Uh, let me start at verse twenty-six. Proverbs six and twenty-six. Uh, I gotta start at twenty-five. Ah, damn it, damn it. There's more go to it. I'm gonna get to the point though. Let's let's start at verse twenty-six. Proverbs six and twenty-six. For by means of a horse woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, an adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? That's why you're not supposed to be around another man's woman. Because she can be batting the mind and she looking and you can see. And niggas is scantless, man. They'll, they'll eyeball your woman down. They'll see if she gonna see. They gonna see if she's she's even remotely attracted to you. And if, even if she's not watching, they'll still make a move. If you leave the room, come on, bro. Verse 28, can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? So he that going into his neighbor's wife, whosoever touches her shall not be innocent. And this goes for heathen. But these laws, statutes, and commandments was for us Israelites as well. It's mainly for us. But these heathen, because the Lord's laws, statutes, and commandments, they are the laws of the earth, the planet, even though they were given to the Israelites only. And we were the ones that actually projected this throughout the, out the planet. Because a lot of nations, they learn from us before we fail. But this is just common sense, you know, in a sense, you know. The average man don't want his woman being... Because the scripture talks about how a woman is a man's property. All right? Verse 30, it says, Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy the soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. But whosoever committed adultery, back to the point. <laughs> the Lord got back to the point. The Lord is showing you that even a thief, if he's stealing to satisfy his hunger, then, you know, he if, he, if he's found, of course, he's going to be punished. But not punished like how if you steal a man's woman. God damn it. But whosoever, verse 32, Proverbs 6 and 32. But whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. Nigga, you stupid as hell, bro. Because a lot of niggas done got caught up. He laid up in a nigga's bed. This nigga done went to work. They got caught in a moment. She got too high. He got too high. They had too many drinks. Overslept. Oh, shit. But the Lord put him into that deep sleep while the man was turning the key in the goddamn lock and running to that room and he catched them motherfuckers, right? 
And whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding, he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. A wound and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore, he will not spare the day of, of, of vengeance. He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, th though thou givest many gifts. You can offer him all your millions. You can offer him your cars, your house. You can offer him the best job. And any nigga that can be offered something like that because some nigga is dealing with his woman, he, that nigga, it, 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 I'm going to keep that classy too. Let me not say. But this is talking about a man dealing with another man's woman. Your ass can be put to death and you're going to be put to death by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Because um, the Lord will have to... Um, Forgive you of this sin. Because this is a sin worthy of death. King David committed this sin. It was through Yahweh. By Shem Shai. That he gave David the tender mercies of um, um, grace. Or, or the tender mercies. That we so look for man. And it's true. Because we need grace and mercy. Because we've all committed spiritual adultery. We all deserve death. Right. But this is a law. Where if you, you sleep with another man's woman. Your ass is through. So I'm going to end out there, man. I just wanted to touch on this. When I seen it, I'm like in the comments and I'm reading through the comments, reading through the comments, reading through the comments. And I'm just like, wow, women and men in there, they got jokes. Well, maybe if he had a, a big enough dick, you know, or maybe if he wasn't fat and out of shape. No, that bitch still ain't got no business. Um, um, I'm stepping out on him, man. If anything, she should be encouraging him. She should be at the house fixing meals that would stimulate him. Meals that were not of uh, greasy ass meals and shit that would fuck him up and get him fat and out of shape if she was doing the cooking. Because a woman is supposed to be in the household and that's a part of her job to make sure that the children and especially her, her head, which is the husband, is fed properly. Why would a woman in a household um, cook a nigga pig feet? Well, it's his favorite. She should be like, well, baby. She can whip up anything. Now, he might be like, you know what, baby, you ain't had this in a while. Special occasion. Can I get some pig foots? Hey, she should be. If you're going to lie the way that you fucking be lying. You should be. Oh, no, I ain't had no fit pig feet, baby. The ones that I seen, they didn't look right, baby. The ones that I seen, they was expired, baby. Until his ass stopped asking or something. But I got you something better. And then besides that, baby, this is not good for our health. That's what a woman, you know, while you complaining about how the guy look, like you see the guy, he, yeah, he got some weight on him. Yeah, he got some weight on him. Like, yeah, there you go. And niggas on the comment board clowning him and shit because, you know, they figuring because he's this size, he's not laying the rod down right. That's no reason for a woman to step out on her man, man. But, hey, America, man, they justify this shit. A matter of fact, you know what? Let me get this too. That brings this to mind. I'll end out here. Yahweh out. New Testament, Romans chapter one, the very last verse. I think it is. Been a while on this one, but this always stood out to me. Cause you got the people, like I said, in the comment boards. Romans one and thirty-two. Who knowing the judgment of Yahweh, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So they got pleasure in this adulterer. They got pleasure in this this adulteress. They're 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 clapping this this shit on. Yeah, girl, you you done right. You, you girl, you go. I'm thinking and, and and women. I, I was thinking of doing it. I'm I'm on pro, I'm in process of doing the same thing. Girl, I'm doing the same thing. Some wicked nigga like, man, you should be knocking her down, bro. That's his fault he ain't handling this business. That's not how you're supposed to be, man. That should get the death penalty put on your ass. And like I said again, with a story like this, and the sergeant hasn't been fired, he's still on the job. This motherfucker man could have a bad day <laughs> with a traffic stop and come back to the motherfucking, um, 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 
you know, police precinct and, 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 and let go. They ain't saying they stripped him of his of his gun. And if they did, he could still have one somewhere. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Quam your shoulder.